Hey everybody out there. Hey, I just want to take a minute here and show you this Asus laptop. This is a K53E. Now, one of the things I really like about this laptop is I like this lid, okay? The lid is textured and it's satin, so it doesn't really show fingerprints. Nothing like the really shiny ones. You don't get all the scratches, and um, I just think this is going to be a much better appearing laptop overall. And I, I really like that. It's a mocha brown color, so it's just, I just like this laptop, okay? Now, over here on this laptop, we have a headphone jack and a mic jack. We have two USB ports here, and we also have a DVD drive. And you have the um, locking device holder. On this side, you have USB 3.0 port. And you also have an HDMI port. Okay, now the HDMI port I really like because with that HDMI port, this enables you to take one wire and hook straight to the television. That way you get a very good quality of picture and sound all in one wire. So I like that. Any newer laptops that anybody gets, I, I like to make sure they get an HDMI feature. VGA out. That's another port that most of them have. And this will enable you to hook an external monitor to this if ever need be. Here you have a, the Ethernet port. Okay, beside it here you also have this power jack port. Notice it's right in the middle. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good thing or not. Time will tell. I, I'm not sure. You know, most of them's on one of the ends or in the back or whatever. We'll, we'll set to see how that holds up. But they do give you a 90 degree jack, okay? So that's going to help. So when it's plugged in, this ain't going to have the wire sticking way out or nothing. So I guess time will just tell about that one. But overall, the outside appearance of this laptop, I really like. And it also has a six cell battery in it. Now on the inside here, we have the same textured pattern that we have on the outside lid. It's also supposed to have uh, insulation in here to keep this palm rest cool, okay? This laptop has ran for quite a few hours straight when I was doing stuff to it and it never really seemed to get hot. I was really impressed with the coolness of the laptop. Now, this laptop also has a built-in webcam, which I've played with the software a little bit and it really seems to do pretty good. I was impressed with what I've seen in the webcam so far. <clears throat> now, the keyboard is a full-size keyboard in it and has the extra number pad. Also, this keyboard has a, like a low profile and really nice smooth keys and everything. I really like Asus keyboards. I, I, they, the feel to me are really nice. Now this has a pretty good sized touchpad and the clicker buttons are well and easy to hit and they feel good. It's not, I mean it's pretty well kind of flush. Now <clears throat> if anybody has watched any of my other videos you know one feature that I hate is tap click. Okay. Now with this touchpad it's not easy to get in and change the settings of that. You had to go dig it around a little bit so that's one thing that I really didn't like too much. Now the speakers seem to be adequate for a laptop. Um, I've had a lot of laptops come through that's had speakers that you almost couldn't even hear where this one seems to be pretty good. Now up here they have a battery um, software program that they give you and in here you can set this for high performance, um, entertainment, quiet office, or battery saving. <clears throat> now if you set this on battery saving and, and on the battery setting, this thing is supposed to have over three hours of battery life. Okay, And to me that's pretty good. This thing has a Core i3 in it. It's a 2350. It also has 4 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig hard drive. The Windows experience is rated at 4.7. Now another feature about this webcam though, I forgot to mention there, um, it's also got facial recognition in it. So 
The screen is a nice screen. It's a little glossy, but it's it's got a very nice picture and everything on it. So overall, I think it's a pretty good laptop. One thing I do want to mention to you, I noticed this um, small power brick does get um, very warm. Okay, now I guess that's all right, but it just seems like it gets a little warmer than a lot of the other ones that I've been used to. Now the power cord is a nice length of power cord. I, I do like that they give you a long power cord, and I do like that they give you the 90 degree jack, all right? These are features I do like about this. The one feature I do not like is I like it when they either give you the rubber strap or a piece of Velcro or something so that whenever you're wanting to travel with this laptop, you can roll the cord up, easily strap it together, and it makes it nice to carry, all right? So I guess that's not really an important feature because you could add something yourself. But that's just my thoughts on the power jack. Now hey, stay tuned to my channel because um, you never know what I'm going to be posting next. So thanks for watching.